doing today? Dirty old JDM Belsif here, eh? Freaking right it is. Oh, well, boys, just thinking about uh, maybe putting the old uh, LEDs up in the gazebo. What do you think, Scrap? You think we should put the lights up in the gazebo? He doesn't know. I don't even freaking know. Freak sakes. But uh, I fried the old box of Ruski there. Here, get down for a sec, dude. Showing the daughter. I put the wires on backwards, and good old JDM sent me another. They sent me another one they did. Freaking right he did. What a great bunch of people to deal with. Make sure you go get yours, boys. I'll put the link below for freak sakes. Freaking right I will. So we got a brand new one we do. So let's not mess this one up, boys. Let's be easy, careful, gentle with this one. So, I'm just trying to think of where to put these lights. Like, see, when I'm having a hell of a time right now, I don't know what to do, really, to tell you the truth. But, I do have some footage from the car show the other day, so, uh, check that out right now. I'm going to the old car show, boys, but look at the friggin' lineup to get in. Got a nice little vet in front of me, though, eh? Decent. I got a sticky brake, too. Did you hear that clunk? That was a sticky brake, boys. So, guess what? I'm fixing that, too, now I am. Friggin' right I am. And anyways, we'll see when we get in this place. Holy frick, boys and girls. She's a good turnout, she is, eh? Check out all the freaking peoples. Decent. Freaking right is decent. What a beautiful night, too. Let's take a little walkabout on the old uh, car show and see what's really going on, eh? Why wouldn't we? Boys. I don't know where to start. Golly. Who the hell would put this piece of shit in a car show, anyway? I'm just joking, it's Brian, eh? Decent. Why is yeah, the hood yeah. open? We spent all that time, you don't even have the hood open? Open the damn hood. It was open. Oh, I want to open now. So they can see what our hard work went into. Hold yourself This now. is a 454 Four. with, with 305, 305 heads. conversion kit. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, but we got a little hidden turbo in here, too. Yes. The, we turned the um, AC compressor into a Whipple charger. I believe Just everything so you say. know. It works good. It looks pretty good, right? Yeah, no, Looking it's great. Right. Getting her. AC work? Decent. Look at that, boys. There she is. Shut All up. Brian's hard work. Decent. That's what I'm talking about right there, eh? Hey? When are you gonna give me your car, Brandon? Yeah, right. Huh? Take it for a rip. Freaking right I will. Hear that, boys? I can take it for a rip. <laughs> freaking right I can. <laughs> Chevy 2, boys. Check it out. Decent. Look at the size of the freaking Whipple Charger on that thing. Freaking right. Hey? That's decent. Billy. Sell me your car yet? Jamie's here. She probably would. Well, I don't have enough money for you, bud. <laughs> I was just dreaming a little bit there. I couldn't help myself. Freaking back in the old Van Ruski here, and the freaking thing, the doors were shut on it, but somebody was trying to get out, they were. But I ran into a couple friends I did. How's it going? Freaking right. Got to check out their YouTube channel, you do. Freaking right, you do. What's it called? Uh, little Trailer Big Adventures. Jeez. Oh, they use travel. All the time. just travel for yeah. a living. Freaking right. The dream, boys. Our, we sold all of our stuff and hit the road full time. Oh. And now we live in a 26-foot trailer. Freaking Retirement at Freedom 35. Isn't that what Ricky was always talking about? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. They name their beer. Check them out, man. For sure, you got to do it. Freaking right, because I got to do it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I, right? That sounds good, though. Yeah. Good for you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Bill. Cool. We love it. What do you think of that, boys, eh? Pretty decent car show. There's 700 and some odd cars there, boys. Freaking crazy it was. So, what I'm thinking about doing, boys, is I'm thinking about taking these strip Ruskies and putting them up here, like so, eh? I'm gonna put one there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there and one there. Something like that, eh? Freaking right I am. Something like that. So, <sighs> I kinda wanna put them in the van, too. That's a problem. I can't make up my mind, boys. My mind is kind of all dicked over right now, and that camera's dirtier than dicks. Here, can you see me now? Probably. So this one's, I got two shorter ones and two longer ones. So I'm not too sure which ones I should put where. But I'm thinking we're going to do the shorter ones on this side, boys. So we're going to make sure we kind of get them somewhat in the middle, right? Somewhat centered up. Let's see how they stick. Let's see if they use the good stuff. It looks like the good stuff. Freaking right it does. Nice and thick. 3M tape, boys. We want to go center with you. I always eyeball stuff like this and never measure. Okay? So we'll run a strip along here like so. Like so. Well, there's one. Freaking right, that was easy. I think I might have to extend these lines too, I'm thinking. Next. Next. Hold on to her, boys. Girls, peoples. So we'll go along one above the doorway. Oh, boys, I don't know if this is going to reach. I'm going to have to extend with their linos. So we'll put the other one this way. <laughs> so center. Is right about very safe. So we'll run the strip along here like so. Decent. Next. So we'll go over here. And here's another short one. So actually we're over here, boys. Keep up with me, would you? Like safe. Don't forget to subscribe and like too and hit that notification bell bar button. Why wouldn't you? I would. 
Okay. So, this one's got to go here, boys. Down along here like so. There we go. Perfect. And we need one more. Where'd it go? Where the frick did it go? Joe? Lost it, boys. Here she be. So we'll put one more over here, we will. Right up here, can you see me? Take out the old two-age. Slide her through the net that holds up my flowers that I didn't even get this year because I was too lazy. Why would I? Even doing it with Tampa, boys. That's what happens, eh? And we'll put that one right up here, we will. Just like that. Not much to mount in them, is there? Frig no. So I'll get the wires all ran to one location and I'll be back. Okay, boys and girls, dirty old JDM knew exactly what I needed, they did. Friggin' right, they did. So they're all mounted and the wires are ran up on top, as neat as I could possibly go. Decent. And look at, they make it just perfectly, the wires. Friggin' right, they do. So we get all this tidied up and up there, and I gotta run a new line from my off-grid system over to the gazebo, which should be a little bit of a wrestle and a half, but we gotta get her done, we do, because that's where the power comes from. Friggin' right it does. I'll get some wire, and we'll see if we can run her. Okay, boys and girls, well, we got the wire ran under the gazebo we did, friggin' right in the conduit. We got the lights mounted, like I said, and we got the wiring just about tied up, boys. This is where I put the module up here with a little zip tie action. I've got the feed coming in from the off-grid system right here, boys. Now I just got to go put a rag over my light sensor and turn the suckers on so I can see which one's positive and negative so I don't fry the box again. Why wouldn't I? So we'll take a walk over here, we will, and we'll make them come on. So let's check out which one's what here. Freaking right we will. See if I can stab you up here with me somewhere. On the old gazebo roof, boys. Decent. So we'll put this over here to that. We'll mount this here somewhere so I can read her. And then we'll take her and go like this, boys. Negative, positive. We've got 11 volts. If I go backwards, she's minus. So? White's positive, boys, eh? So whenever you're testing this, if you go backwards, it'll say minus 11.8 volts. And if you go the conduit the same, or the flow the same, or whatever the technical term is for it. She'll be 11 without a minus. So white is the positive side, boys, on this one. But it's 12 volt, remember, this is house wire. because so I wanted to use a extension cord to come to the gazebo so it doesn't rot away as quick. It's under conduit and stuff like that. So this is 12 volts, so we're gonna go white for a positive. Friggin' right. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? So up here, where we are right now, she never gets wet, boys. She's up in the roof ski, she is. Unless, of course, you're in my back garage, it's just pissing water in, but... Up here, there's not much water, so I'm not even gonna solder it. I'm just gonna twisty-twisty, and I'm gonna heat shrink, and we should be good to go, boys. We should be friggin' decent. Maybe. Maybe. As soon as I get the friggin' doodad over the doodad. I got a little bit of a blow job going here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a light going. Frig! She's like a wind tunnel down here. She's a wind tunnel up here, she is. Well, how the hell am I gonna get out of the wind enough to do this? I don't have my torch, boys. There she goes, we got her. Well, there's one done, decent, and there's two done. And there's my phone, boys. So there we go. So now all we can do is plug her in, Jim. Plug her in, Jim. Decent. So, as we can see. As you can't see. It's working. Friggin' right, JDM. So there we go, decent, boys. So now let's pull up the old Aparuski here. <laughs> Careful. So we'll pull up the old Aparuski and we'll see if we can't get them to work. We want blue, decent. We want yellow. Decent, green. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, eh. Ooh, ooh. So anyways, there we go. We got them working, boys. And they do all different colors, and they'll come on every night by themselves, they will, because they're on my off-grid system. So that is just decent. And if you're wondering about the off-grid system, boys, I'll show it to you real quick, I will. Friggin' right, I will. So as you know, we got a light sensor up here, boys, that I'm going to uncover right now. So this tells it when it's dark, and they go on and off. I got them all around the house and this and that. The other thing you've probably seen in previous videos and stuff like that, but it's a mess in here, I apologize. But here's my off-grid system, boys. It's just a mess, okay? Just a mess it is. This is going to my one of my cameras, so don't even look at that. That's not even part of it, boys. So right now, the panels are making 231 watts. This here is a lower, uh, low voltage shutoff. So the batteries go, I think I got it set at 11.5. Uh, so the batteries go below 11.5, they shut the lights off and that, comes in handy in the winter time when there's not much daylight, eh? Because I'm running a lot of lights around here off this. I'm running five batteries, just five regular deep cycle batteries. So the power comes in, boys. It goes to the charge controller. When this is blinking, it's charging. 
decent. This is a dump load, so if the batteries are fully charged, it just dumps the rest of the current so it doesn't overcharge the batteries. Then it goes down to the batteries. This plugs into the batteries to run my garage. And that did not work very well at all. Boys, that thing is absolutely euchred. I don't know what happened there. Frig, on a video too, for frig's sakes. What the frig happened there, boys? That thing did not like any of that. Wow, that was friggin' awesome. What just happened, boys? Hey? So anyways, that uh, doodad thingamabobber here is junk now. Cooked her, boys. And she actually had some flame in her, she did. So I gotta figure out why that just went for a doodad. Why didn't the fuse go on it if it was bad? I don't get it, boys. Girls, peoples. So anyways, that's not supposed to work like that. It's not. Frig, no, it's not. I obviously have a short, and I know what it is. It's because my roofie, le leaky roofie, it's probably got into the wiring, and that was into the panel, and the panel's probably full of water, and this and that, and the other thing, and that's what caused it, well. Had a dead short, boys. I gotta get the roof done in this building. Friggin' right I do, before I just get cocked right over. That, that thing's still smoking, boys. Frig! Hmm, that's exactly what's happened. Anyway, so that's how that works. That's friggin' decent. Not so decent for the old charge controller to friggin' take a rip in the old dark, but... Hey, Burn down the shed, why don't I? Frig seeks. Oh well. Tis what it is, it is. Frigate did not like that at all. Hey. Okay, boys. Well, I took that thing out. I did. Threw it on the grass. It's junk. It was full of water. It had water in it, for Christ's sakes. As soon as I freaking took it off the bench, tipped it up, water poured out of it. So. We gotta get this roof fixed before uh, I burn this freaking little garage down, eh? Freaking right. Even though uh, it'd be decent to have a new one. Freaking right it would, but that's not the case, boys. I gotta get that fixed. Freaking right I do. It's only 12 volt, not hooked to the house. So I can't fry anything in the house. That's one good thing. But uh, yeah, learn by our mistakes we do. Quit being so cheap and put a roof on the damn garage. But anyways, like I said, don't forget to uh, click on the old link below and get yourself a pair of these freaking things. I'll show them to you tonight when it gets dark, I will. Freaking right it will. Hopefully everybody had a good day and don't forget to subscribe and like and share, hey? Eh? And uh, you know what to do for now. Bad boy.